YouTube. What up, man? It's your boy Street Tate. I'm back. Another collection style video for you guys, man. If you're new to the channel, go in my channel and look at all the past comparison deals that I've done so far. I want to have it where any shoe that you search on YouTube, my comparison thumbnail will be in there somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got so many more comparison vids coming because most of y'all know that my collection is full of older shoes and those shoes are coming back out again. So I got a whole bunch of comparison vids coming in the future, especially in 2018, man. So the whole point of my videos is to help those out that can't decide if they want to cop the newest release or just go back in the past and cop the last time that shoe came out based off of details, opinions, whatever, man. Or if you're just curious what is the difference between a certain shoe. It's the whole point of my videos, man. I do these joints for y'all. And I appreciate y'all watching, man. So subscribe if you're new and follow me on the gram and on Snap. So this video is going to start out a little bit differently, you know what I'm saying? So listen, at the end of the day, I'm only at 6K subs, right? So I'm very small in the grand scheme of things on YouTube. But I still get crazy emails from brands asking me to rep this, promote that, talk this, you know what I mean? But if it don't represent me, then I'm not going to respond to you. So with that being said... There is a brand, they reached out, there's a whole bunch of other YouTubers that have already talked about this brand on freaking YouTube, especially if you search it. So this really ain't nothing new if you're a long time YouTube watcher, but I'm talking about wood watches, Yod wood watches, spelled J-O-R-D, but it's pronounced Yo. Listen man, so they reached out, they sent me a watch. And the presentation of these joints is crazy, man. Like, these watches are on your grown man shit. You know what I mean? Like, these are premium wood watches. A whole bunch of different bezel versions. I'm sure I'll have the website B-roll right here, man, man. These watches are dope, all right? And y'all know me. I'm not going to tell y'all no bullshit. Because you can't just say you real. It's something you got to be, man. So, when the watches come in the mail, after you unbox it, inside it, is a wood box and the watch has like it's it's wrapped in like a freaking pillow it's got the name etched on the pillow like it has a hidden drawer inside of this nice wooden box that has all of the cleaning and health care supplies to help take care of the watch the watches are super dope super premium they're super light and a whole bunch of different color bezels they're very expensive watches so it's not like there's some cheap watches and all of the price is in the model of the wood and the bezel like the bezel is what holds all the value based off of the type of material used in the bezel man just go on the website and you can see all the different types of colored bezels different versions different sizes different wood colors all that man yo watches they're super dope I appreciate them even reaching out to me, even asking me to talk about their brand, repping me. They gave me a 25% off link. That will be down below. So 25% off anything on the website. Y'all go check them out, man. Tell them your boy Street Taste sent y'all, man. Listen, the only other brand that I rep is Bird Club Clothing. I still got that Tate 20% off promo code on birdclubclothing.com listen man I've been ripping bird club for years right so I've had a whole bunch of people reach out and ask me to do this and that so for me to accept yo watches just know bro these joints are dope man alright <laughs> straight grown man watch status there ain't no denying that they're premium the quality is dope and their presentation they clearly care about their product nice looking website and their overall Instagram following is also pretty big. Well over 100K followers, man. So listen, man. Shout out Yo Watches. Link below for my viewers, for you, subscribers, all y'all, man. 25% off. Get your grown man on. On them days where you're trying to take your lady out or you're trying to go to some nice event. Listen, Yo Watches, man. These joints are crazy lightweight, crazy quality. Woodwatches.com, man. I appreciate them reaching out and I appreciate y'all watching man so let's go ahead and get back to the comparison video man like what y'all came here for this is the comparison of your 2007 release new love versus your 2017 release Jordan 1 new love so back in 2007 your new love came in a pack and this pack was joined with the Jordan 1 mid black toe 
which I also have right here. So this shoe dropped in 07. The whole point of the pack was Jordan's old love, basketball, and Jordan's new love back at that time in 07 was his motorcycle team. The colors of his team back in 07 was black and yellow. So the old love was for the basketball and the new love was for his motorcycle team at that time, which the colorway was black and yellow 10 years ago. The retail of the pack was only $200. So that was a very good pack for having two shoes. And now you have your 2017 most recently released New Love. So it's been 10 years since this colorway has dropped. And I think Jordan Brand did a really good job when it came to the quality and just the overall form of the shoe is really, really dope. When it comes to Jordan 1 mids, people really aren't huge fans of Jordan 1 mids, man. But people really love this colorway, man. And we'll go over the differences and details as I b-roll you guys to death. Technically, if you just want to be real about it, if you already have a pair of black toe highs, you know what I'm saying, then you can pretty much make a fake version of the old love, new love pack. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they're both mids, but if you just wanted to just be, you know, I don't really need the pack because I already have black toe highs. You know what I'm saying? So here's a here's a kind of a look of the mid versus high comparison there kind of the uh, height difference you know what I'm saying so I mean if you just wanted to you know just make a fake ass pack then you technically could you know what I mean you can go ahead, you can go ahead and just make these uh, black toe highs just kind of pack the lows and say you know I don't really need the pack because I already have these two shoes you know what I mean so really you don't really need to go back in the past and cop the pack you know what I mean so it's all about the new love differences man and the boxes your Jordan 1 new love from 07 came in your pack box retail price was $200 and it literally says Jordan old love new love on the size tag of the box the box has a whole bunch of details on it kind of a graffiti style art 2017 pair the retail price was $110 and it came in your standard black gold jump man box now if we go up to the toe boxes the quality is actually exactly the same um, I do think the overall construction though is better on your 2017 pair they do both have the suede toe border going around and going up it's kind of that new buck material now your new love that came in the pack did not come with any extra laces. Your 2017 pair has the yellow laces hanging from it and already has your black laces inside so I think it's kind of dope how they gave you that option. The tongue, the jump man, the air, all of that is exactly the same. If we go to the outside of both shoes y'all can see that it is exactly the same as far as the design. Quality is very similar. I do think it's better on your 2017 pair though. The yellow is a little bit brighter on your 2017 version it's a little bit darker on your 07 release and y'all can see that the uh, bottoms are also a little bit different but I'll talk about that when I get to the bottoms of the shoes man so we go to the back of both shoes the overall stitching of the jump man is better on 2017 technology has gotten a whole lot better when it comes to the machine stitching all of that man so definitely better on your 2017 overall if you go to the interior of both shoes the ankle interior is thicker on your 07 version thinner on 2017 the tongues are the same thickness the size tag is on the back of the tongue on your 2017 version and it's on the inner side of the ankle area on your 07 version on the back of the tongue on your 07 is a black tag with a yellow jump man on the back of the tongue the insole is yellow with a black jump man on the 07 version and it's all black with a yellow jump man on your 2017 version man so y'all let me know which insole y'all like better I think I'm gonna go with the yellow and black I think that's pretty dope and if we talk about the bottoms of both shoes y'all already know I got sole savers on my 07 pair so that's what y'all see on there both bottoms have the exact same design, just these simple color differences that y'all see there. It's kind of a gum-ish color on 07 and a nice bright yellow clear sole on your 2017 version, man. And the biggest differences, of course, are the Wings logo in 2017 is your standard 
Jordan stenciled wings logo in all black. And 2007, they put that same wings logo behind a plastic covered window. And the outline of the wings logo is yellow. And that is the comparison, man, of your 2007 release New Love versus your 2017 release New Love, man. Let me know down in the comments, man, which one y'all rocking with. Y'all already know how I do, man. I want to know y'all's thoughts, all y'all opinions, y'all's thoughts about everything, man. Everything in this video, let me know down below. Subscribe if you're new. Follow me on the gram and snap. And just know at the end of this year, I'm going to do a big collection video of every Air Jordan 11 men's size that has ever released high and low to retail stores. All right. So after the all red Jordan 11s drop and I get them joints, expect a video of every Air Jordan 11 high and low men's size colorway collection video, man. There is not another video on YouTube like it. So that should be a really good video. Show love to woodwatches.com, man, because they reached out to your boy. I think their products are crazy dope, man. And I'll see y'all next video, YouTube. You can't just say you real. <laughs> it's something you got to be. All right, now. Easy. So I have your 2009 Raging Bulls versus your 2017 Flight Suits. So I have your Jordan 1 leather version, Royal and Breads versus your fly knit versions, Royal and Bridge. 